Thank you for joining me, my friend the Holy Spirit. This is Gift of Zawadi Love. We continue our series on prayer and speaking in tongues. And we understand that speaking in tongues is praying directly to God. So we know that when you're leading other people in prayer, and you, when you want them to all go into prayer, yes, you can ask them to speak in tongues. But when you're speaking in tongues, remember, nobody understands what you're saying. And this is what Paul was warning people. Because sometimes in the church, yes, we can go in and all of us, you just pray in your own ways. You can pray in tongues, you pray, but, and we see the manifestations of God. But if you're leading people in prayer, it is important to pray what people can understand. And that is what he says. So anyone who speaks in tongues should pray also for the ability to interpret what has been said. For if I pray in tongues, my spirit is praying, but I don't understand what I'm saying. Well then, what shall I do? A lot of people wonder, oh, why, why pray in tongues in church? Why pray? If you're doing individual prayers, that's something you can do. Even when you're doing corporate prayers, but everybody is just praying, you can ask people to pray in their own ways in tongues. But when you're leading prayer, like you are the one praying and other people are listening, it is important to pray what they understand. But this is what he says, well, then what shall I do? I will pray in the spirit and I will also pray in words I understand. I will sing in the spirit and I will also sing in the ones, uh, words I understand. Remember, he said he's putting the spirit first. Why? Because it is powerful. He does not say do not pray in tongues. He says speak it and also pray with understanding. All sorts of prayer. But I'm telling you, I will give you my own testimonies about praying in tongues in a little bit. For if you only praise God in the spirit, how can those who don't understand you praise God along with you? How can they join you in giving thanks when they don't understand what you're saying? You'll be giving thanks very well, but it won't strengthen the people you're, who hear you. I thank God that I speak in tongues more than any of you. But in a church meeting, I would rather speak five understandable words to help others than 10,000 words in an unknown language. If you're praying so others can hear, you need to pray in a language you understand. But if you're praying that you're, you're all in prayer and everybody is praying in their own way and it's not praying for others to understand what you're saying, it is okay to pray in tongues. And we need to pray it. And he says, I thank God that I speak in tongues more than any of you. And this is Paul. Remember how Paul was. And the revelations that he got. A lot of revelations come when you're in the spirit realm, when you're speaking in tongues. One day, I told you, I'm going to give you an example. We, I was um, going to a prison, practi uh, prison worship practice. And at the practice, we started practicing, but it, we just felt like it was so, so heavy. The atmosphere was so heavy. We tried and we couldn't. And you know what? As a prison worship leader, I told them, everybody go into your own corner. Let's pray. We're just going to pray. And we prayed. And we prayed. And when I went to pray, I would just pray in tongues. I could not uh, speak out any words. But I prayed in tongues. And I groaned deep groans. I did not understand what was going on. But as soon as we finished that, there was a breakthrough. And we were able to practice. And it was wonderful. That day, I was actually heading, going home. I lived like an hour away from where we were practicing. So that day there was one of the ladies in the present worship that was supposed to come with me because she wanted to know where I lived. So I had a big SUV truck and I had my two uh, boys with me. That time they were little. I believe it was about either two and one or one and, and um, a few months. So as we were going, and I was going on the fast moving lane in the couple lane, and she's behind me following. All of a sudden, I had a tire bust. It was at night. And all I could hear was the, the, a big blow. And my car was just unsteady because, first of all, I had big tires on that truck bigger than they were the ones that came with the truck. So I just started moving to the side. I saw a lot of smoke, moved to the side. As soon as I got outside, like when I put my hazard on and I was moving and uh, getting out of the way, as soon as I cleared and I was on the side, the car shut off and it couldn't start again. So the lady that was following me, thank God she had AAA. She called AAA, they came, they changed the tire. They did not even understand how we survived and the car did not roll. 
But I understood it. It was because what the enemy had planned, the Holy Spirit had revealed to us. And as we were praying in tongues with groanings that we could not even utter or understand, when I was praying, the Holy Spirit canceled what the enemy had planned. There is power in praying in the spirit. There is power in praying in tongues. There is power in praying with groans that only the spirit of the living God can interpret and take to the Father. Do not despise praying in tongues. I will share another testimony. When what my family was rescued because of a prayer that I prayed in tongues. God bless you and join me again. Thank you.